Welcome. So today we have a Walder MeTab Chicago tablet. It's an inexpensive tablet and it's uh, unfortunately taken a tumble. And as we can see the the touch screen is completely unresponsive and, 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 and smashed. Normally on something of this cost it's not cost effective to repair and often the spare parts are impossible to, to find. On this occasion uh, we struck lucky and uh, from AliExpress I've managed to find uh, a replacement touchscreen for it. So let's get this swapped over and um, see if we can resurrect it. So the first thing we need to do is to remove the back cover and any any cards that may be inserted there's nothing in there right now so that's good and uh, just two screws so now we need to re remove the case Let's start from the end where we remove the screws and with a handy guitar pick slide along until the clips click out let's keep moving along until the clips become free once everything is unclipped we can carefully prise the case open and here we can see that one of the loudspeakers is stuck to the top so we just gently remove that and looking inside we can't see anything else We can see the connector for the the screen at the top here, which we need to just gently lift that connector up and remove the cable. Probably a good idea now. Well, we can see that the the battery is in fact soldered to the the main board, so we can't can't disconnect that easily. So we can see from the replacement part that the screen is, is stuck with adhesive to the, the top surface. So what we're going to do is with our heat gun gently heat that up maybe about 80 degrees and uh, remove that screen. I'm just going to check that the hot air from the, from the gun is not too hot because uh, these things can be a bit tricky. So just with an old old phone there and uh, the infrared thermometer just check that the air coming out is not going to be too hot and that seems fine the gun moving try and evenly heat up all the glue around the outside obviously this screen is broken anyway so we don't have to be too particular with this one so once we've got the screen heated up we can try and separate the the glass um, I'm using an old Stanley knife blade here just to try and get in the in the side there. I can see that coming away. Just take some time and some patience. No need to rush this part. The glue will will separate eventually. Oh. 
just going along to the final part there. This is where the connector is. And finally, it's free. And you can see the panel underneath still intact. So having removed the screen, we can see we've got a little bit of cleaning up to do. Just with a soft brush, just remove any remains of the, of the glass. And inevitably, there's also a couple of fingerprints there and um, some of the old glue. So we can just remove that using some paper and isopropanol. Just to remove those. Just a little tip here when removing the adhesive, or any adhesive like this, you just get it on a, on a roll. Um, it uh, usually quite easily will ball up and pretty much unstick itself. There we are. So now with the old screen removed and completely cleaned up, we can remove the protective film from the replacement screen. and also the uh, adhesive too. So just fold that up so we can get it through the slot here. And just gently line everything up. Before we press that completely down, we'll just test with uh, the new digitizer. Make sure that that's fully home before pressing the catch down. And generally, when that is uh, is all lined up and you can't see any more of the of the support there then then all is good so now we can see that the the touch screen is is working as it should so we can resume putting the rest of the cover back together. So now I've replaced the, the case. Uh, just one quick tip there. Uh, when you put the back on uh, with the, the keys and the and the ports there, just slide that end in, in first and then follow by that and just press around the edge to, to reconnect and all is done. A uh, repaired tablet. So thank you for watching, hope that's been useful for you and uh, I'll put a link in the description to uh, AliExpress where I managed to get this uh, screen from and looks like we need to put it on charge. So thanks for watching and please subscribe and uh, share.